What's up guys, Corey here with Tackle Warehouse in Orlando, Florida. Here to give you a first look at the new products from Tackle. And we got a couple of new baits we're gonna take a look at today, a few exclusive products. But up first, we got a new 10th anniversary product. And these baits right here, guys, if you wanna get them, get them now because once they're sold out, they're gone for good. You will not be able to get them anymore. So Hideki, tell us a bit about the baits itself. And besides the colors, people don't know about the bait. Talk about the bait design a little bit and how, and how you use it, and then we're gonna go in the colors themselves. Okay, yeah, it's, um, actually the Tekkers is uh, 10 years anniversary of funding, this since funding, and uh, just uh, one, one time try, I tried to make the different kinds of materials. Okay. So this is a regular Kiknoka. I have been using the same clear material for, for long years. Okay. And uh, only this time, the limited edition, I used the, this is called the natural ABS. Okay. Some, okay. Sometimes uh, fishermen call the bone oh, material. Bone. Like the old bone, okay, old yeah. Bone. Okay. So this is a uh, white, not clear one. And uh, I just made the 10 year anniversary limited colors, like this colors. So for the examples, this one is no painting at all, just a plane of the okay. ABS. Yeah. Also that this is bone, but uh, this is not painted, just, uh, just uh, the, the color, color of the material. Okay. This is the same things. So this is, what, what color is this one here? What's this one called? Uh, this is called uh, Plain Shore. Plain Shore, okay. And the other one we just got was, was Bone. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we got? It, I call this is... Uh, That's cool. Born to be Bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. And this is a Silver Flutter Shadow, it looks yeah. like there. That's one of pop, my favorite ones there. Mm -hmm. And then where we get this one is, what is this, a gizzard? Or what, what do you call this one here? Uh, actually, this is a baby striper. Baby striper, okay. I caught uh, in the California Delta and uh, take a pictures. Okay. So it <laughs> matched perfectly. Yeah. Okay, we got a few other colors too here what, as well. What is this one here? This is a uh, bone shad. Bone shad, okay. And then we got, how many more we got? What else uh, we got? Natural Pro Blue. Okay, Natural Pro Blue. And Aurora something, what's oh, that yeah. one? Black Aurora. Black Aurora, okay. And, and then... Uh, Black Bird. Okay. So, so this is the only limited. So mm -hmm. I I will not remake uh, anymore. So just, uh, you know, don't miss it if you <laughs> wanna try. That just a little difference. Type, different mm -hmm. noise. Yeah. Well, talk, for the guys who know anything about the baits, like talk like even this, the, this bait design itself, like the history of this bait, like this was you had this mold years ago, correct? This design, and now that you've come back out with it ten years ago now, mm -hmm. right? So can you talk about about the, the bait itself and kind of the design a little bit and the history of the bait? Um, actually, this is uh, I made this uh, more than ten years ago. It's oh, yeah. almost twenty years ago. Yeah, it's yeah. our original mold. Yeah. And it was uh, sold out of the different uh, brand names, but uh, I, this is my own mold. Own so mold, yeah. I started selling uh, original uh, at, at the name of uh, kick knockers. Uh -huh. So uh, actually, I'm using the same mold, the same material of originals, and okay. uh, everything is it's the same. Okay, cool. So a very, a very cool bait. Uh, this is, you know, this is the, the classic bait, but now not just limited colors, but I, I'm really stoked with the colors, but the sound itself is something that's different. You know, and, and when you're seeing when there's, every other brother has these baits on their boat and they're throwing it, you can come up with this bait, something a little different, different sound and also different colors. But again, guys, these are limited, and limited production. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. So jump on the site and get some now. And uh, again, a couple of these guys are getting pretty low already. I think this one here, the Silver Flutter Shad, a few of the other ones are starting to get a low in inventory, so better jump on and get some now. Next up is a bait I'm really excited about. I got to see this, a couple of us did last year when he, Hideki came to Tackle Rouse to show us some stuff and shoot some videos, but a very cool bait called the Sharker. And talk us about the Sharker and tell us what it's all about. Um, actually, I've been testing for like a uh, Three, four years. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and uh, finally I could uh, develop the, the light action uh -huh. I, I wanted. And uh, this is a whole body frog, but it's not a, it's not a frog shape. It's uh -huh. more a, a 
fish shape. Yeah, shad shape kind of, yeah. 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 And uh, I call this, it's a kind of hollow body glide bait. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's not like, a, it, it work, uh -huh. but uh, I, I want to call it a glide bait. Okay, it's a gliding frog. Yes, kind of. gliding, okay. gliding frog, okay. yes. So, uh, actually, um, if we twitch like a regular frog, it's, mm -hmm. it's a walk, but it's more like, uh, I, I pretend more prefer to little, little uh, short twitch. Uh -huh. The bait is uh, more glide, like a, s more smooth and more widely. Uh -huh. like so it's a slow reel of the twitch. Yeah. Okay. Don't need to pull hard. Okay. So even, you know, sometimes a fisherman can make the noise of twitching in a bread line, uh -huh. twitching the make the noise. But this one, it's a quite very, very quiet. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of finesse frog. A finesse frog in, yeah. in, in a glide axe. Something a little different when they're seeing a mm -hmm. lot of frogs too. So I'm guessing you can still work it over a mat though. But then you come off the mat, you work it back and just and, yes. and, get, and kind of get dual purpose to get a little more action, mm -hmm. different kind of style action out of it. Yeah, but uh, actually I'm using the same hook of uh, regular another tackle frog. Okay. And so this shape, it's a little loose. Yeah, yeah. So actually I don't recommend to use this on a kind of kind of moss or uh -huh. slimy grass. It's catchy. Yeah. So it's not... Uh, Perfect to weed dress. Yeah. But uh, very it's, good hookup ratio. Probably. Yes. Yeah. But it's a it's good enough for the just a regular bush or a kind of hard grass. Okay. And it has nice little cool tail feather on the back here. Give a little more kind of that, that feather or I guess a, a shad mm -hmm. or you know, a fish tail instead of a you know frog leg, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. And so in a bunch of new colors or anything else on the, on the design you want to talk about at all or? Yes. And if you lead it. Uh -huh. uh, it's go like a subsurface swimming okay. with uh, its motion. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's that's why I'm calling the sharker, uh, oh, yeah. a, a sharker or okay. a glide bait. Okay. And uh, if you really uh, successful uh, keep twitching with uh -huh. leading, it's more it's swim like a wake bait in a surface. Okay, kind of yeah, yeah kind of so, a little bit. It's a very fun to control uh -huh. by you, by fishermen. Yeah. So I, I really, you know, excited to uh, finally I could uh, release this bait in this year. Very cool. And, and, and actually the shark it looks like a shark. So very cool looking set up there. And a bunch of other cool colors you got here. Uh, is this a pink shark? What do you call this one here? Yeah. Anyway, I uh, this is why I call the the frog the name is Shaka. Okay. And uh, this is very fun. Uh, yeah. I, I also posted the picture of the fish holding this on uh, in the mouth. Uh -huh. This is also good for the Instagram. More oh, yeah, people yeah, yeah. like to yeah. click on you know yeah. like that picture. That'll be cool. So, looking, yeah. So two shark colors. Two shark colors. Uh huh. And two bluegill. Okay. So you got ghost bluegill and a, and a chartreuse bluegill? Chartreuse, chartreuse bluegills okay. and the regular bluegills. Okay. And the gizzard shot. Okay. It's a it's kind of transparent. Oh, that's cool looking, yeah. And uh, totally clear. It's like uh, we call the see-through. See -through. So this is, some people like the clear one, uh -huh. but uh, also I like to use the spike it or oh. dye marker to make uh, my own color. Make, custom make your own custom, frog. Yeah. That's very this cool. This is yeah. very good. So you can match the hash to whatever you want, a few Sharpies or a few uh, lure markers and make any kind of frog you want. That's cool. And uh, bone, well, uh, that's, always, that's uh, everybody likes. Especially like. for a glide bait. You gotta have a bow in the glide bait, right? Yes. <laughs> and the oh, white shore, black shore. Yep. So again, another very cool bait. Again, like t always like with tackle, innovative baits, new designs, something different, and just really fish catchy stuff. Every time Hideki calls to say something new, everyone in the warehouse gets excited. You guys should have seen it earlier. He came down here, and all the guys here came down to see it was new. So you guys now know, also know it's new. And if you want them, they're available right now on Tackle Rouse. So go get them, go pick them up, and have fun with them, guys. Up next, we got a few new colors. These are available soon at Tackle Rouse. And the Sprinkler Frog, we got the see-through. 
and the shark gill, again, available soon. A couple you can get right now and only available at Tackle Warehouse is a few that Hideki has. Tell us about these new colors we got, Hideki. Uh, this is uh, all the Taco Warehouse exclusive colors. And uh, first things uh, we have... Uh, all those frogs for you. Uh, for first. Uh, sprinkler, a uh, whole black matte finish. Uh, Very cool. And uh, this is called uh, Fantasmo. Fantasmo Shad. So it was, these guys are trying to think of a, a Phantom Shad style. We thought it was so much cooler than just Phantom Shad. We called it Fantasmo Shad because it's, it's better than Phantom Shad. And then this one here? Yes, also the whole car, uh, one color, uh, all black with uh, it's, uh, matte finish with okay. uh, black braid. Oh, that's cool, the black, black kicker flakes. I like that. Very cool. And then we got a few new uh, in, the, in the bait too? Yes, the two new colors, okay. uh, exclusive colors, kick knock colors and kick knock pop. The one is a uh, Fantasmo Shad. Fantasmo Shad again, very cool looking. It's neat looking, neat bait. I like that, the silver back. And there's that faint chartreuse line on there. It's very cool. And the uh, uh, next one is a uh, rice minnow. Rice minnow? Very neat. So it's kind of like a ghost minnow, but a little more subtle, a little more a, a clearer ghost. You kind of, I guess, like a, a phantom mm -hmm. ghost minnow, kind of. So again, these baits are all available at Tackle Warehouse right now. You can pick them up, but only available at Tackle Warehouse. So you want to get them, come to us to get them. Guys, thanks for joining us. Hideki, thanks for coming out to meet us. Uh, it's always an honor to have you here. It's always a pleasure. And again, if you guys see behind us, the whole entire Tackle Warehouse crew is watching. It's an awesome time whenever Hideki comes to see us. I look forward to uh, getting out in the water. And speaking of getting on the water, I hear fish jumping. Let's <laughs> cut these cameras off. Let's go fish. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.